Ooh, a real tough one. Every time you're basically forced to compare yourself to fictional characters, it's always a bit of a uneasy ground for me, lest you compare yourself to someone with too good of qualities and you making yourself look better than you actually are, or to someone with uh, less than admirable traits and you end up making yourself uh, come across as worse than you are. Um, I think it's always best to kind of your compare yourself to a middle of the ground character, um, but I have completely ignored that advice, uh, uh, my own advice in this case, and would liken myself most to um, one of the main heroes of the Narnia franchise, one Jill Pohl. Um, she's a relatively my, um, I guess I can't say minor, she's a main character and a proper friend of Narnia, but she doesn't really show up in the uh, movies, except for the Silver Chair BBC adaption. Hopefully that'll change with the eventual fourth film in the Disney uh, WGM. I I'm not sure which company is making it anymore um, in the modern movies version. Like, I should just keep it simple and call the new ones the movies and the old ones the BBCs, but whatever. Uh, Joe Pohl, like much of the uh, Friends of Narnia's, um, kind of straddles that ground right between um, being too good and being too bad. Now, that's a horrible way to put it. Uh, apologize, kind of stumbling over my words here. Um, my my wonderful dog is sitting right by me, and that's not actually like being sarcastic. Um, it's actually very tempting to pet him while I'm supposed to be recording this video. Um, I'm, I'm sure we can all relate. We're all dog people here, right? No? Most of us are cat people? Ah, oh, that's okay. I like cats too. Um, man, this video has just gone off the deep end just very, very quickly. I should probably end this here. Well, uh, but no, I'm going to press forwards and hit that five minute mark. Um, Jill Pohl is both an extremely likable um, and heroic individual and also a very flawed and human character. That's what I really enjoy about the protagonists of the Chronicles of Narnia. They actually spend a decent amount of time being um, not antagonists but flawed uh, people and characters who cause a lot of the problems they face. Uh, much like in real life, ultimately you're responsible for a lot of your own problems. Um, at least in my own personal experience. I don't know about any of you, but yeah, a lot of the own, uh, my own troubles that I face, I ultimately caused in some way or another. Um, and Jill Pohl is kind of like that. She's an extremely sarcastic person, especially if you're used to, like, Lucy or Susan. Um, she and Polly are certainly, uh, much less willing to put up with the ridiculousness that gets, uh, sent their way by the male protagonist. Um, Diggory and Polly is a better example of that. Polly is um, almost Erevis level, not dealing with your nonsense today, Dig. Um, I don't think she actually ever called him Dig. That's weird. Uh, not important right now, though. Jill Pohl um, is on less... Uh, uh, she's less the voice of reason just because Eustace is a lot more down to earth and less troublesome than Diggory was when she stopped and think about it. Um... Uh, but Jill Pohl, she's still endearingly sarcastic, she's uh, very likable to me, and she makes her own fair share of mistakes. Um, like the entire business with the science, which like she said, she flubs almost every single one of them and just makes a complete mess. But I think there's a message in there too, because what we should probably focus on is that she ultimately got the final message right. And that's really what matters when it comes down to it. You can make as many mistakes along the way. Um, and still get to where you need to be. If you're still ultimately in the right place, yeah, you've messed up, you've screwed things badly, you've just, just made a mess in general, but, you know, she tried, and that's really what it ultimately comes down to. Um, and the fact that Joe Pohl does try is very evident. Um, it's noted in, like, the silver chair that she's got a he horrible head for directions, something I definitely uh, relate to. By the last battle, she's actually um, a known, basically a woodsman, well, woodswoman I guess it is, a ranger of sorts, and is actually a notable marksman with a bow. Um, so she obviously took... Uh, both her experiences in the silver chair and she also obviously um, improved herself like worked on her talents um, that would come into play in Narnia in between books. So it's very obvious that Jill Pohl is always trying. She's trying to do the right thing um, and yeah she may screw up a lot, a lot along the way but ultimately she's hopefully going to end up doing the right thing and yeah for being honest that's who i would compare myself to mostly a very sarcastic individual who is always trying but eh, 
making a flub of it here and there. Um, as long as we're both going in the right direction. I guess we're good, Joe. We're good.